Oh God, you are my God, and earnestly I seek you. For my soul thirsts for you, and my flesh it faints for you. As in a dry and weary land where there is no water, so I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life, and my lips will praise you. And so I will bless you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands, for my soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. And when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy, for my soul clings to you, and your right hand upholds me.
today we just declare with our voices that we want you. God, wherever we're watching, God, you are well acquainted with our situations. You're well acquainted with what we need. And so God, more than anything that we need in this world, we declare that we need you. God, we thank you that your presence brings life. Your presence brings peace. Your presence brings joy. God, I thank you that everything that we need is found in you. So Father, today as we are just coming, Lord, I thank you that there is joy in your presence and I thank you that there is peace forevermore. God, I thank you that wherever two or three, wherever people are watching this now, God, in your name, your presence unites us. And so Father, I thank you for what you are doing. So Father, I pray that you would come and that you would meet us. God, would we have an encounter this midweek, God, would it just be a refreshing Lord, that it would refresh our souls and not only just refresh us, but God, would we be refreshed to be a refreshment to someone else? God, I pray that your presence would just saturate our lives and as a result, Lord, impact our families. Impact, Lord, those that we rub shoulders with, whether it be in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, whatever it may be, God, we just, we want you to be glorified. I thank you that your word says, if your name's lifted up, you will draw all people unto you. So, Father, in the midst of a pandemic, we just say, Lord, let your people be drawn unto you and let your will be done. And, God, I pray that you would use us, your people, to be your hands and your feet. We pray these things in Jesus' name. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days I've been held by your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head oh, I will sing of the goodness of God oh Jesus in all my
gonna sing of the goodness of God. Mighty praise, O God, belongs to you in Zion. We will fulfill our vows to you, for you answer our prayers, and to you all people will come. 
Though our hearts are filled with sins, you forgive them all. What joy for those who, choose to, you, who you choose to bring near, those who live in your holy courts. What joy awaits us inside your holy temple. You faithfully answer our prayers with awesome deeds, our God and our Savior. You are the hope of everyone on earth, even those who sail on distant seas. You form the mountains by your power and armed yourself with mighty strength. You quieted the raging oceans with their pounding waves and silenced the shouting of the nations. Those who live at the ends of the earth stand in awe of your wonders. From where the sun rises to where it sets, you inspire shouts of joy. Yeah. 
is great. Your name is powerful. Your name is almighty. You are the everlasting God. And you have begun a kingdom that will know no end. And it will only increase until you come for your church again. And so our trust and our hope is not in the name of any person or any system or structure or any governance, but our hope and trust is in Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, demons flee. At the name of Jesus, sickness has to leave. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will one day confess that you are Lord. Your name is great. Your name is holy. Your name is powerful. And we exalt you this evening. We bring our praise to you. You are Lord. You are King. So holy God, your knowledge of us exceeds what we grasp or see in any moment. Because you know us better than we know ourselves. Now help us to trust in your mercy. To see ourselves in the light of your holiness. And grant us the grace that we may have true contrition. Make an honest confession and find in you forgiveness and perfect remission. Amen and amen.